I got some hot, hot takes for you guys for Power of the Elements today. Don't beg the 30% of you guys have not smashed the ever living crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can get to 103,000. Power of the Elements will be rolling out in April for the OCG. And I want to give some hot takes here as to what we can expect out of this set. Because we're only about, I would say, pfft, whoa, encompassing maybe two-fifths of the set. Probably think we got well, maybe 30, 40 cards. Eh, well, maybe 30 cards out of the 80 as of making this video here. So we do know that there's a Sky Striker promo card coming out in April, which will coincide with the release of the new manga. But I've had my, my fingers crossed here for a little while. You know, when, typically when they announce a manga promo, it's going to power up something along the way for a set. So which tells me one very, very sad part here that all this community is going to, you know, hate me for having to say, but Sky Strikers are probably going to get support in this set. Um, they typically like to keep the more important information locked up for the live stream. So as of making this video, oh, you bet your butt, because that Sky Striker promo is around the corner, the set's power of the elements, what better way to release a set and sell it than including elemental heroes in the set and then going, oh, you know what? We can pop in a Sky Striker card or two. Do I think it's going to be a lot of Sky Striker support? No. I think at most you might see, I was almost thinking we could, we could see Link to forms of all the Sky Strikers eventually. I think that would be cool, but the light and dark armors technically don't exist, even though Ray herself is the dark attribute. But looking at things up for consideration here, you know, you really got to consider the fact that that Sky Striker promo hinders a lot of bad theories. And it is, well, you know, Sky Striker support possibly right around that corner. I, I really honestly wonder, like, how much more they want to expand it. Because that new manga is coming out here very soon. And, you know, a lot of people are looking at that manga and going, well, we're literally, we can expand out the airship. We can expand out, you know, some of the workers for things. You know, the people that maintain the armor. You know, there's so many cool things that you can extend out in the Sky Striker multiverse of things here that... I wouldn't be surprised if they couldn't come up with some of the coolest things. Now, dealing with Sky Striker IRL is an entirely different creature, you know, somebody who actually loves the lore and things like that. I'm super excited for this, but that also means that, you know, all these Sky Striker cards have gone up immensely at this point in time. Like, it's actually crazy to me that we've seen such a crazy power e shift even at this point, just the announcement of one promo card. So... Wild Theory number one, Sky Striker, getting some love here. Next up here is Adventure Power Up. Now, what's very interesting was they released the Punk card and they released what was the other support card for that particular set, but at the which was Exo Sisters. But at that time, there was no there was no Adventure card. Konami pretty much told me. And that being the case, they're going to keep that locked up for a card of the day or a much later day. Now, the last support that we got for this deck was Illegal Knight, and you've already seen how good that card has been in the OCG. You know, up until they limited Rite of Armesia to one, a lot of decks were playing Illegal Knight. Because it's literally just a free answer to problem cards that the opponent has, and all you got to do is just hand it to them. It's like, here, take this. Anytime a card like that can exist, ladies and gentlemen, it really sets up a very disheartening thing, in my opinion. Um, I hope whatever support they plan on giving to Adventure, I hope it doesn't re-break the engine. Even with Water Enchantress and Rite of Armesia limited to one in the OCG, any sort of, you know, special summon this card from your hand claws, anything that, like, could search a water enchantress, these things, they don't matter if, you know, we break open the theme again. So I really hope that whatever case this is, you know, I, I can already tell I'm pretty sure that they were planning to keep that locked up. Actually, probably going to be two more adventure cards as of thinking about it, actually. All things considered, it would make sense, right? Because Exo Sister and Punk got two. So, I don't know, that's even worse. That's two chances. <sighs> I don't want to see crazy power-ups to adventure at this point in time. But, 
alas, I, I, I am a huge fan of the theme. I am excited to see what they can pull out of the books for that one. So I'll take it, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I think Ancient Gears are going to get some love here. Now you're like, Robbie, where the hell are you pulling these out of? All right, like, you, you have no reason to say that Ancient Gears is going to get support here. Well, honestly, I Ancient Gears have been... I was looking at the Earth Duels pack. I was like, you know, we... Pyroxene seemed like a really cool place that we could have put this. And then, you know, they wouldn't dump gem knights in this. And I was like, well, you know, why don't we just give some new ancient gear support in here as well? That makes sense. You know, we could have Crowler's voice actor come on to the live stream when they go to do all this future stuff. And then you got to ask yourself, huh, you know, is ancient gears really where we need power ups right now? I mean, yeah, the answer is, oh, yeah. Ancient gears getting any, and I mean any, kind of consistency enablers, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, considering the fact that, like, there's been a lot of, like, tune-ins here on the Earth attribute in this set. You know, this set's supposed to be Power of the Elements, but oddly enough, I'm seeing a lot more focus on Earth in here than anything. So I would really like to see them, hopefully keep up with the best wishes here and go yes ladies and gentlemen we need to do something with ancient gears because i honestly this deck is pretty much a fan favorite at this point in time it might not be on like a crazy fan level but you know ancient gears is one of those decks you see a lot of people talk about and they're like oh yeah you know like this deck does have a lot of cool crazy potential yeah the deck is an otk machine ladies and gentlemen it's a deck that you can see somebody pick up and go i'm gonna punish you with that because in like a crazy scenario where you open up the nuts oh it's all over you're getting like ancient gear pounded for like 16,000 or something like that. It's not a very fun matchup by any stretch of the imagination, but I would definitely think that they should focus more in on ancient gears for this. Now, since this is a power of the elements set, I have a feeling we might get something elemental lord related. You're like, elemental lord? Huh. You know, Molen Glacia, you know, things like that. Mm, looks shifty eyes in, uh, you know, dragon rulers. You know, when you see an Elements set, you always typically know that Konami tries to make something relatively cool in terms of that. And I mean, you could even go so far as to be like, Elemental Saber support? Wait, Power of the Elements. You know, I don't think it'll be Elemental Saber in this set, to be honest with you. I think maybe one card, but I feel like an Elemental Lord tie-in or something for like Mullen Glacia, you know, the other friends, you know, <laughs> good old Grand Soil. It seems way more likely to me than some elemental saber power up. But, you know, Konami has surprised me in the past with these things, and they will continue to probably surprise me here in the future as well. God, could you imagine? Elemental sabers getting a power up on the level of crawlers. Would it make the deck better? Yeah, but I don't even know what elemental sabers are supposed to do. All right, I've, I've at least read crawler cards versus elemental saber cards. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, the last real big one I want to talk about here is a brand new world premiere theme focusing on an unexpected type of monster. You know, I've heard theories on, on this crackpot being what, like um, fish, you know, being pyro. I would accept either of those, if you want me to be honest with you at this point in time. I would love the fact to see possible power-ups for volcanics. I don't know why, you know, volcanics just keep, yeah, come as a go away. No, mm-mm. Mm -mm. Go, go away. You got pain over here crying in the corner. Whatever Konami comes up with. Oh, God, they could be they could be pyro fish. Oh, that's an unexpected type right there, ladies and gentlemen. But with that being said, oh, oh, there there is one last one here. There was a battery man card that was released in the tournament pack here. And with that being said, I wonder if there is a potential for a new Battery Man card as well. Um, I that, that part actually caught me off guard when I saw that originally. I was like, Battery Man support? Konami, like, what are you doing? I wouldn't be surprised, ladies and gentlemen, if you see some stray Battery Man card. You know, remember that Sylvan reprint that signaled the, the making of the Link monster? Good times, ladies and gentlemen. So guys, what do you think about Power of the Elements? Please, comment down below. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button. This guys, I'm going to sell more awesome content. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day, guys. Peace out.
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.